Hey Mario. Yeah. Does Does Patrick really listen to this? <laughs> All, which one? Re really. This really. Really. Which one is it? You've got to be kidding me. This here. Yep. All day. <laughs> Rick, does, does Mickey know about this? Yeah, it's, a, it's a pretty good song. Mick! Mick! Mickey! Yeah, the, 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 she's probably working, it's okay. Well, Mario, does... Oh, he's got an email. What's this... What's this trilogy thing you just got? Uh, trilogy? He's working on a new book right now, but he's not ready to publish that, so you can just exit out of that window. No, no, no it's, it's already here. It's, it's convenient. I'll open it. He's not ready for that yet. No. I'm in good with Patrick. It's fine. I was. I spent the last couple of days at his house. We had dinner last night. I'm, it's okay. He, he won't mind. We're fine. Hold on. Look, are you sure you said to shoot a Valentine episode? I didn't have that in my agenda today. No, it's I'm fine. Hold on, hold on. It's it's opening. It's loading. So, anyways, well, good evening, good morning, good afternoon. I don't even know what time zone it is. This is Jonathan Mason. Uh, we are going to be having our Valuetainment today, but I actually had a conversation with Patrick last night, and he asked me to host it. So we're going to call it Entertainment today, because my background is entertainment, and we're going to have some fun. And today's topic is going to be about 17 points of impersonating a leader. And I'll tell you, when it comes... Hey, Pat. Hey, Patrick. What, freaking what, what are you guys doing here? I thought we were shooting Valuetainment. You said you what is John them. doing behind the desk again? He said he called him and said we're shooting entertainment. Who told him he was going to do this episode? Well, John, we were talking. I didn't say you are going to do the episode. Say yes. you got to be kidding me. What are you doing on the computer here? No, I was just testing it out. Mario, how many sure. times have I told you no one gets on my desk? I, I, I told him. He oh said you told him. Oh, my goodness. Well, what would you have in mind? Well, we had an idea about doing 17 points of impersonating a leader. It's impersonating kind of, a leader. Yeah. It was kind of funny, actually. Who wants to impersonate leaders? I mean, that's the biggest form of flattery, isn't it? Impersonating a leader? Absolutely. And you think people would watch this video? Absolutely. Yeah. I, I, Mara, they'll, they'll watch it. It's kind of like the parody video. You know, we get emails Thank all you. the time. And yeah. You want to watch the parody that he did a year ago. Emails about what? The emails about him, you know, where he, uh, he does a parody and he... Uh, him doing a parody video? Him, yeah. You think people would actually want to watch that? I think I, so. I think we should release it. They'll get it. They'll get it. And what if they don't watch it? They'll watch it. Are you committed? I'm absolutely committed. So here's it. what we're going to do. If they don't watch it, I want you, you, to dance Armenian music. Light bulb? Arama Saturn can do the light bulb music. Light bulb dance. Can you dance to it? I can light bulb dance. If there's no views. I can light bulb you dance. You're going to need to dance to that. I can. If you guys are committed, Mario, you too. I'm telling both of you guys are being held accountable. People know you. They know, they know how you are. That's okay, fine. so here's what we'll do. We'll make this one time because there needs to be entertainment to it. So we can go live with it this time, just this one occasion, and then depending on the results, maybe we'll have other things taking place. Right, I'll put it on. Okay, go ahead. Really hope people it is what it is. Video. Put it on. Put the parody on. Cannot believe this is happening. You've got to be shot. Okay. About 3,000 things of leadership, 3,000 points of leadership that I think will separate people from, this is the key here. I think this is the most important part of leadership that separates the ordinary from the extraordinary. Point number one is accountability. You have to be accountable for your actions, and more importantly, you have to hold your people accountable for their actions. You can't just do things, walk away, and expect somebody else to clean up after you. You can't have it that way. You cannot play the victim. So that's point number one. Point number six. So like I was saying, I want to talk to you about leadership, but I want to talk to you about point number six because point number six is a little bit more important than number five and not as important as number seven. Did you get it? Did you get it? Okay. So... Number, number six is probably uh, my favorite because it has to do with clutter. You have to unclutter your life. And the more you can unclutter means the more you can focus. The more you can focus, uh, the more you can improve. And when you're improving, you have nothing to worry about. When you improve, you have nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Did you get it? Okay. Because there was a buddy of mine from the Army. I remember he called me. Uh, he found me on Facebook. He called me. Uh, he said he was hungry. I said, let's do lunch. Uh, we sat down. We ate. We chewed, we swallowed, food was good, we were still hungry, ordered the dessert, uh, had some more dessert, uh, he was still thirsty. Uh, what does Amor want? Amor! Okay, Jen, yes, okay. So, uh, point number 10, like I was saying, is clutter. Uh, you have to keep on cluttering your life because the more, uh, basically, uh, the more 
clutter that is out of your life, the better off you're going to be. So let's keep going because I want to talk to you guys about uh, point number 15, which is better than point number 14. Point number 36. 36 has to do with maxing out. Think about this. What was the last time you maxed out? I don't care whether you're black, white, green, Hispanic, Asian, Jewish, Christian, whatever it is, when was the last time that you actually maxed out? See, I remember one time one of my trips because, I mean, I've been to uh, uh, Florence, Italy, Tuscany, Jalisco, Nayarit, for NASCAR races, Kentucky Derby, Palm Springs, Palm Desert, George Palaio's home. I mean, all, it was a great time. Yeah, it was great. All over the place. Okay, all over the place. See, you have to max out. What we're having here, people that are trying to max out. But you ever have anybody in your base shop that just doesn't want to go with the extra mile? See, here's one thing I realized about point number 37. Point number 37, which is right after 36, has to do with getting people out of their comfort zone, right? <laughs> so what happens is, what happens is, you have to get people uncomfortable. Don't be afraid to challenge your people. Because when it comes to the levels here, you have to collaborate. If they're not going to collaborate, you have to know when to shove them in. You have to know when to go all in. That's the only way you're going to get those results. Only way you're going to get those results. Silly video, but today's message is whatever you do, try to have some fun at your workplace. Even if you have to get a couple other guys to have some humor with it, get them to get it, put something fun to get at your work environment. Meanwhile, that's my message of the week too. However, we're not done because I want you to watch these two silly guys who made this whole thing happen today show you how to properly dance to Armenian music. I knew nobody would watch it. Well, now that you, I told you, I told you, now you got to show the dance moves. And you'll let him influence you. You need to be tougher than that. Got it. Here you go. Show us the dance, dance moves. Ready? It's about to come up. Let's see. Let's see. You can do better than that, guys. Some leg moves. I want to see some leg moves. Kicks. There you go. There you go. Kazakh show. I knew it. I knew it. Alawa Satria would be very proud of you too. Unbelievable entertainment.